so today we are checking out a terraria mod that is called the orchid mod now this is a really cool mod because it not only adds in one not two not even three but four new classes with more to come more on the way and obviously the classes it adds itself a work in progress too but yeah let's go ahead let's quickly and briefly go over these four classes as you can see I got an array of armor sets next to me and they all look really cool but yeah let's go ahead let's start going through all of these starting with the first one this one is still very new i believe the content goes up to the eye of cthulhu so very very early content but look at this we got pavis we got warhammers and we got some runes and this class is called the guardian class a proper tank class and not just like a melee slash tank class now this one is actually a guardian tank type of class all right so let's go ahead let's grab one of these pavises pavis however you pronounce it it's a weird word i found multiple pronunciations when i looked it up let's go ahead we're gonna grab the best one we're gonna grab the best warhammer and then uh you know we can grab both of these why not but as you can see we got a little shield icon not only a little shield that we hold out actually like in front of us but we got these little icons here we got shield icons and we got a sword icon now the way this class works is to put out damage you gotta block damage so we have three shields right now i'm gonna hit left click hold left click and as you see the little shield icon that means i'm blocking damage and i could also push enemies and as you can see when we block damage we get a sword and the sword allows us to attack back i'm gonna go ahead and right click and do our slam attack here boom and this one has a little extra attack you know it is an enchanted shield it's just a little projectile but you see i'm out of swords now so let's go ahead let's bring in an enemy let me go ahead block and attack go ahead make contact with them boom we got our swords I can retaliate very interesting very unique I, i'm really interested to see how this would work with bosses but yeah this also blocks projectiles he doesn't exactly have the greatest aim oh there you go he's getting a little bit better there we go i blocked him look at that and then i could go ahead come over here boom retaliate i got two smashes we might as well retaliate multiple times and he's doing good damage there you go i got him all right on to the next weapon here the war hammers as you can see this thing does a good bit of damage also you can see that we do a different damage type called opposing damage and we just pretty much just hurl out a heavy hammer very simple as bringing an enemy here as you see we got a little bar that charges up and i'm assuming when it reaches the max we do max damage let me just make sure on that yeah it throws really slow and the damage is a lot weaker so with the shield and the blocking those naturally generate over time if you give it some time but let's say i run out right we can switch to our warhammer while we're out of blocks and if we time it right look at that we get it back so we want to hit it when it's on the red we get it back instantly so we can switch back and forth between having no shield and it's a very unique idea for a class it's definitely different uh it seems very hard of a class to even use right now so i'm interested to see how they progress it in the future but yeah we got some accessories here i believe the are no these aren't even accessories these are sure just weapons we got these runes surrounds you with enchanted sparkles surrounds you with uh sap bubbles summon sap bubbles around you let's see them in action okay cool definitely tank like type of weapon you would see a nice little like aura effect around us all right the bubbles finally went away let's go ahead let's use the enchanted one so this uses two shield slams so we need to go ahead and build up a uh attack here boom built up an attack I, okay i wasn't supposed to use it uh, that's my that's my bad didn't mean to use it all right now we could bring in some more projectiles so yeah it is definitely a very unique class work in progress still early interested to see where they go moving on to the next class i got here now i did do a playthrough with this next one it is the gambler class this was a really fun and interesting class to do a playthrough with got the full streams on my second channel and i even got like a video where i put the whole playthrough into one video on the main channel here and i believe they have changed some things we are playing in 1.4 so they probably definitely changed a bunch of things but yeah let's go ahead let's go over the basics on how this works so the main part about the gambler class is you're pretty much quote-unquote gambling choosing random cards out of a deck that you have and that's really where the gambling is because you never know what type of card you're gonna get from your deck it's always a random pull but obviously you can make it so you got all good cards in your deck and do good damage so yeah we gotta go ahead and get a deck here uh hopefully some of these items i'm showing off, showing off they're actually in the mod because you know sometimes wikis aren't updated and i use an item that's still not updated or yet in the mod that can happen but as you can see here we got multiple decks usually there's just one the og one but look at this there's a couple of different ones i'm gonna just take the og one 
be safe with it so now we got a deck let's go ahead and choose some cards here i'm going to choose some fun ones so as you can see oh some of these cards actually do require me to have a certain amount of cards so i, I gotta add some weaker cards in here boom go ahead and use the ones that i can to add them to my deck i should be able to add a majority of these now right all right but yeah as you can see look at this we got the little card that we have drawn here and we got a timer that's how long we're supposed to use the card and then it switches to the next card and then it pretty much just does that over and over again and cycles through random cards very cool there's accessories and items you can get to like shuffle every now and then just in case you get a card that you don't like for example this ember card was kind of eh but this one, this one is not bad. Let's go ahead, let's bring in an enemy to fight here. And let's see this one against some enemies. As you can see, not too bad at all. Good damage, good card. And as you saw, that little item that was on the floor was a chip. And you see the little lines, those were chips. So I was picking up chips. I'm not talking about like Doritos. I'm talking about like gambling chips. I picked them up and then that means that I could use the weapons that are chips and the dice. I know this is a lot to take in. They're like, this ain't even the most complicated class. I think the next one is going to get really complicated. Yeah, like I said, very unique class. Very fun. I definitely enjoyed my playthrough of it when I did a playthrough with it. Honestly, I'd probably recommend checking that out if you want to see it more in detail. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the other items that it has. These chips here and the dice. As you can see, the dice, they use those chips that we pick up and they give us either a buff, make us do more damage, something like that. Very simple. And then we got the chips themselves, which we throw at enemies. And then we got this meteor detonator, which uses chips and we blow up enemies. So let me go ahead, let me just grab a random chip here. As you see, it kind of like spins around us. So we gotta, we gotta kind of time the throw a little bit here. Let me go ahead, let's bring in some enemies. So we got, okay, we got the King Simon one. Ooh, nice, good damage. And then let's see if I can go ahead and use this here. Great timing, as you saw. Perfect straight down the line. Would it hit any enemy that was in front of me? But yeah, cool class has potential to be really strong if you uh, know how to do the right combos and stuff. On to the next one. So this next class might be the most complicated out of all of them. And that is the Alchemist class here. Now, this isn't that garbage Tremor Alchemist class or that other mod that's pretty decent that has Alchemist Flash too. Now, this one, you really become an Alchemist. You got to start mixing stuff together. And as you can see here, we got a bunch of weapons. They all got different elements. There is apparently six elements, fire, water, nature, air, light, and dark. We got fire here. I got some water right here. I got some air here and I got some nature. I don't have any dark or light ones unless they're like somewhere mixed in here but yeah you can just go ahead and let us just grab one of each weapon you could just go ahead and you know throw them regularly do damage like that you know it probably won't do crazy damage actually it's not bad let's go ahead let's just throw out a bunch of these see how they are feeling like the avatar with all these elements i have on hand and boom our last one the nature one cool but yeah the whole point of the alchemist is to mix flash samples whatever together and to create these reactions when you create reactions you get cool effects cool damage like a lot more damage you can do when you create certain reactions it's super unique and you really got to sit and find some of the reactions mixing things together uh there's obviously like stuff you can find that helps you get reactions and stuff show you reaction recipes so before i start mixing whatever we got here i'm gonna go ahead and grab something i'm gonna grab this book right here the alchemist cookbook this makes our life easier we don't have to switch between bottles and have to mix them like this you know we can just do it all from one thing look at this i right click i can mix things together let's mix those together boom throw it out very cool so let me just grab a bunch of mixtures i'm gonna yeah, i don't know like what should i grab goblin oil let's combine like goblin oil with ember that sounds like that would create like a massive like explosion or just like fire okay not as massive as i thought you get the idea though i'm becoming walter white i'm mixing things up in the kitchen seeing what we make with them oh very cool i don't know what those bubbles do do those ignite or something i don't know yeah, you do a lot more damage once you just start mixing a bunch of things. Some of them really do have some cool effects. And the whole point about this class is literally just like exploring. Exploring, you know, unlocking cool things with the class. And really just like mixing things together. See what you can mix. Oh my god, look at this. I like this little UI. I like this little UI. Let's mix a bunch of random stuff. Let's bring in some slimes. See if I can hit them. Oh, I was able to hit them. And look at that. We got little stars flying around. Like, shoot, what else should I mix? Let's mix this, this, this bring in the boy okay they died a little fast bring in the boys boom 
All right, I put like all the potions or all the cattle, whatever these things are called, extracts in my inventory. I'm gonna summon in the King Slime. Let's just start mixing things together. See what I get, see what kind of crazy damage I could put out. It's already doing pretty good damage. I am just on a normal world here. All right, let's see. Visceral Mycelium Glowing Mushroom Spirited Water. Sounds like a good combo. Let's hit the slime with it. Okay, I completely missed, but it still did some damage. Living Sap Royal Jelly Hellfire. What do we got? Okay, not bad. But boom, King Slime dead. Cool. There's a bunch of other stuff like this. Hold on, get this off my screen. There's a bunch of other stuff. We got a lot of cool accessories, as you can see. And then there's like this whole other weapon right here, these catalysts, which, as you can see, it says used to interact with the alchemist catalytic elements. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite catalytic elements. Cool class. I like it a lot. Probably one of the most unique terrain classes I've ever seen. Last but not least, we have the next class. I believe this is the most complete class. You can do a whole playthrough with it from start to finish. And that is the Shaman class. The Shaman class does shamanic damage, shamanic damage. And uh, this is another class that also uses elements. It's got fire, water, air, earth, and spirit. I'm literally, I got the wiki up for this whole video on my other monitor. And there's literally paragraphs that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Let's just kind of just see uh, what it's like if I just mess around with them before we get into the full details of them i'm gonna go ahead and grab some hard mode weapons grab some uh, non-hard mode weapons we got this one shoots sticky honey balls containing harmful bees the more shamanic bonds the more bees are released weapon damage increased by 20 percent of your girl. like look how much there is just reading the description okay we got a little honey thing around me oh my god look at all these bars that pop up so you there's something with like balancing these so you're switching between weapons trying to balance all the bars and i believe you just output more damage something like that so let me let me see here let me do some damage of that uh, as you can see that bar went up let's do some damage with another weapon and that should put another bar up bring out another weapon put that bar up and then we'll bring out our fourth and final weapon dang that that's a good one this why this one so the shaman has a couple of weapon types here we got some of them called orb weapons and the whole point of them is that they produce orbs that deal damage with their primary attack aka left click and after producing enough orbs they consume for a beneficial effect so let me let me see here let me let me break this dude out here and as you can see there's an orb above my head and i'm assuming we're getting a buff or something from it it says filling the orb will make it explode into a swarm of bees all right so let's bring out like a lot of enemies and let's see if i can get that orb to explode into a bunch of bees oh my god look how big the orb is getting there we go i don't even know how i'm doing damage like what's doing damage i, I should probably read this spits lingering cloud energy the weapon itself can critically strike releasing a more powerful projectile oh doesn't work as intended of course i grabbed the weapon that doesn't work as intended and i don't even think it was an orb weapon okay this one is definitely an orb weapon shadow weaver let's see it in action okay i killed the enemy so fast if you have three shadow orbs your next hit will empower you with dark energy for 30 seconds so i'm assuming that dark energy buff probably is just just straight up like more damage something like that if you guys are confused as me you know it makes sense because <laughs> I, I read through the paragraphs i'm gonna put a picture of the paragraphs on the screen and i'm still confused about this class but yeah it's got it's got the orb weapons and then it's got weapons that are just called other <laughs> which i don't know i guess they're just generic weapons uh, the wyvern staff is a part of those other weapons here i'll grab this one this is like one of the strongest weapons from it the core shoots life-seeking essence bolts the numbers of projectiles depend on the number of active shamanic bonds okay well i'm not gonna have really any bonds i'm assuming the bars that pop up are the bonds or the balls i don't know there's so much going on with this class are these bees trying to kill me i thought they were on my side the whole time this mod also has a couple of npcs that you could talk to the chemist the crouper and another thing this mod adds in is a whole little mine chef area that's got some nice loot you can get your hands on uh it just randomly spawns around the world there's one there as you can see there's one over here one over here that like breaks into the pyramid and i believe there's also a boss coming storm spirit oh look yeah like i said very unique mod if you're looking for some new really really unique classes to play check out this mod right here this mod legit has a bunch of cool classes and they're all very very interesting very very detailed definitely will refresh any terraria playthrough using these but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time